A light bulb socket, light socket, lamp socket or lamp holder is a device which mechanically supports and provides electrical connections for a compatible electric lamp. Sockets allow lamps to be safely and conveniently replaced re There are many different standards for lamp holders, including early de facto standards and later standards created by various standards bodies. Many of the later standards conform to a general coding system in which a socket type is designated by a letter or abbreviation followed by a number. The most common type of sockets for mains electricity are Edison screws, used in continental Europe and North America, while bayonet mounts dominate in the Commonwealth countries and in the automotive industry. Fluorescent lamps typically require a two pin, unthreaded socket. Not all lamps require a socket. For example, some miniature lamps have wire leads suitable for direct connection to screw terminals or other wires, and some reflector lamps provide screw terminals for electrical connections. Topic: History. Early experimental incandescent lamps employed wire leads which had to be connected to screw terminals, but this was inconvenient for commercial use. The Edison organization used simple wooden receptacles with internal copper strips for lamps on the commercial steamship SS Columbia, the first ship to use electric light bulbs. These sockets included key switches, but required bulbs to be mounted upright. The Edison organization developed a screw base in 1880 which was initially made of wood but later made of plaster of Paris. Many competitive designs of lamps and sockets appeared in the early era of incandescent lighting, which often were incompatible with other designs. Topic. Construction and materials The construction of a lamp holder socket defines and limits its intended use. Ceramic insulation can withstand considerably higher operating temperatures than bakelite or other plastics. The electrical components and wires must be designed to carry the intended current plus a safety factor. The contact surface area, thickness and conductivity of the metal, connection methods and maximum operating temperature must all be considered in the design of a new socket. In addition, mechanical factors such as shape of the socket, fixture mounting and attachment, lamp support, ease of re-lamping and total cost of manufacture must be considered. Sockets designed for ordinary household and industrial use have much more design leeway than those used in precision applications. The lamp holder must be located far enough from the filament that the metals with the lowest melting point will remain solid. Historically this metal was a tin, lead solder whose melting point might be as low as 180 degrees Celsius 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to the thermal changes from ambient temperature to full operating temperature, the design of a socket must allow for a considerable amount of expansion and contraction. Spring elements are required to accommodate these dimensional changes. However, the temperature at which a metal loses its spring is far below the melting point. This is why some older sockets that no longer work can be restored by prying up the base spring slightly. Lampholder failures are usually caused by mechanical abuse or by overheating. A socket with a built-in switch is far more likely to fail in normal use as the switch parts wear out. Insulation failures are usually caused by impacts or by difficulty inserting or removing a lamp. Sockets used outdoors or in damp areas often suffer from corrosion which can cause the lamp to stick. In the socket and attempts to change a lamp can result in breakage of either the lamp or the lamp holder. The corrosion is not only environmentally produced but may be a result of the current flowing through the parts when there is appreciable resistance between the parts. Fixtures in such environments may require gaskets or other waterproofing methods to prevent buildup of moisture in the socket area. Topic. Edison screw bases E10 miniature flashlight lamp 
E11 mini candelabra E12 candelabra E14 European E17 intermediate E26 medium E27 medium E39 mogul E40 mogul 3 way modified medium or mogul socket with additional ring contact for 3 way lamps skirted par 38 the light bulb commonly used since the early 20th century for general purpose lighting applications with a pear like shape and an edison screw base is referred to as an a series light bulb this most common general purpose bulb type would be classed as a19 e26 or the metric version a60 e27 Topic. Bayonet styles BA-9's miniature bayonet BA-15's single contact bayonet BA-15D double contact bayonet BA-15D indexed DC bayonet BA-22 double contact bayonet Bayonet candelabra with prefocusing collar P28's medium prefocus P40's mogul prefocus Topic by post with by post bases lamp orientation is fixed so filament will always be in the focal plane Filament configurations such as the C13D coiled zigzagged emit far more light perpendicular to the zigzag than parallel to it Mogul by post G38 can handle up to 100 amps and is used with searchlights and film and stage lighting fixtures of 1000 watts or larger. Incandescent, halogen and HMI light sources use this design. Medium by post G22 is used with film and stage lighting fixtures between 250 and 1000 watts. Mini by post G4 G6 common types G4 4 mm pin spacing GU4 and GZ4 are same as G4 and only denote what lamp mount clip is needed to hold the actual light bulb in place G5.3 to 5.3 mm pin spacing GU5.3 GX5.3 GY5.3 GZ5.3 are same as G5.3 and only denote what lamp mount clip is needed to hold the actual light bulb in place G6.35 to 6.35 mm spacing GY6.35 and GZ6.35 are same as G6.35 and only denote what lamp mount clip is needed to hold the actual light bulb in place G88 mm pin spacing GU8 same as G8 and only denotes what lamp mount clip is needed to hold the actual light bulb in place GY 8.6 to 8.6 6 mm pin spacing G9 9 mm pin spacing G12 12 mm pin spacing Topic. By pin connector Medium by pin is used on each end of a T12 fluorescent lamp Mini by pin is used with MR16 halogen lamps. The two pin socket is an update of the by post design with smaller pins designed to reduce the cost of manufacture. The 1000 watt Fell medium two pin base halogen lamp allows designers to insert the lamp into the end of the ellipsoidal reflector through a smaller hole than previously possible with conventional incandescent lamps. This improves efficiency compared to the older side inserted lamp or a double ended lamp which requires two holes. One variation is the polarized two pin socket, used primarily in projectors, which defines the exact positioning of the filament on one side. This improves the point source characteristic necessary for building complex optical systems. Another facet of the two-pin design is that many new designs of lamps use baseless glass envelopes. The wire leads are thickened and crimped in the glass envelope of the lamp base. The MR16 is an example of this design. The actual lamp is inserted into the reflector with the leads sticking out and a ceramic paste used to glue it in.
Topic: <inaudible> Wedge base. Miniature lamps may have a wedge base made of glass or plastic. The base may be an extension of the glass envelope of the bulb, with the wire leads of the lamp folded up at the base. Some wedge bases are made of plastic and slipped over the wire leads. A wedge base holds the lamp by spring compression in the socket. The lamp is inserted and removed without twisting. Wedge base lamps are widely used in automotive applications, and many Christmas light strings use plastic wedge-based bulbs. Topic. Fluorescent tubular lamp standards Fluorescent linear tube light bulbs are measured in 1 8 s of inches. So a T12 fluorescent is 12 and an eighth s of an inch in diameter or 12 eighths equals 1.50 T44 eighths or 0 0.500 in diameter T55 eighths or 0.625 in diameter T88 eighths or 1.00 in diameter T1010 eighths or 1.25 in diameter T1212 eighths or 1.50 inches in diameter Topic lamp base styles Some of the above base styles are now obsolete. The trend in recent years has been to design newer bases to reduce waste of raw materials and simplify the replacement process. Topic. Standards The United States standards for lamp sockets are published by ANSI and developed by NEMA, are generally harmonized with the relevant IEC standards and include ANSI underscore IEC C78.81, American National Standard for Electric Lamps — Double-capped fluorescent lamps dimensional and electrical characteristics ANSI underscore IEC C81.61, Standard for Electrical Lamp Bases, Specifications for Bases caps for Electric Lamps. ANSI underscore IEC C81.62, American National Standard for Electric Lamp Holders. ANSI Standard No. C81.64, titled Guidelines and General Information for Electric Lamp Bases, Lamp Holders, and Gauges and outlines the dimensions and tolerances of standardized lamp sockets. ANSI underscore IEC C81.63, American National Standard for Gauges for Electric Lamp Bases and Lamp Holders. ANSI C81. 64, American National Standard for Guidelines and General Information for Electric Lamp Bases, Lamp Holders, and Gauges IEC 60061-4, Lamp Caps and Holders Together with Gauges for Control of Interchangeability and Safety Part 4, Guidelines and General Information, 